Today I realized my gaming setup at home is missing something, and that is ambience. Seeing these crazy lighting setups at CES has really inspired me to try something new with my RGB effects, and also try leveling up my gaming setup, as the potential is massive if done correctly. First in, nice and quiet. Get mad in like half an hour, did you say? Yeah, yeah, the was pretty big behind us. <laughs> it was, that we jumped security tackle in the top floor. <laughs> You're trespassing. Trespassing. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some super cool stuff to show you today here at the Govi booth. So obviously we use these lights in a lot of our gaming set of videos, which is some of the favorite videos I like to make yeah. on the channel. But I didn't realize they had so many products. Like literally they have outdoor lights too. So I could pimp out the house and do some crazy stuff. So this is some of the outdoor lights that they've got. Some pretty standard like things for like the walkways, stuff like that. Some massive lights that you can put around the house too, which is quite impressive. They've even got some Christmas tree stuff for the festive season if you're into that and it all obviously links together with the app. Now we've only really used the basic Govi products over the last few years like the TV light strips, um, the, the, the amb ambient lamps that you can have around but they've also got some new upgraded lamps that I'll show you in just a minute. Right, so this is one of their cool little living room setups that they've got. They've got some new lights that show off some artwork. These are cool, but obviously I don't really, I think I'd really use these ones because it's like there's a lot of wiring going on and I, I could be bothered keeping that all tidy. But I do like the overall vibe that's sort of going for here. But this is their latest sort of TV hub. So obviously there's multiple different types of Govi RGB light strips you can get for your TV. Just the standard one that you control with like a, a controller, which is what I predominantly use. I like a fixed color so it's not too distracting while gaming. But they obviously have these ones that use like a sensor to sort of get the colors of the display. So if there's fireworks in the movies, it will pick that up and then the lights will start flashing, which obviously makes it much more ambient. But then we've also got these new little strip lights that are scattered all around the rooms and also around the TV stand as well, which are basically, I really like them. I think they had quite a lot of vibe. So this new one in particular has got incredibly soft light. So it's not like a traditional RGB light strip where it's like got the individual sort of um, diodes or whatever you want to call it going around it's literally just one beam of light the whole thing so you could remove the diffusion strip and it would look this soft which is quite impressive and, and pretty advanced technology when it comes to lights and then the topic of different strip lights these are obviously their rope lights I thought about buying these on Amazon but I thought what the heck would I actually do with them like spell my name or something like that but they've actually basically used them as neon lights you, you, that's what they sort of look like don't they they've got a bit of a vibe going on where you basically create like a a neon light sort of thing but the good thing is it wouldn't obviously flicker and also they don't generate as much heat so if you've got like a cool neon sign in your house they get dead hot and if you wanted to film any youtube videos or film something on your phone it'll start flickering like crazy but obviously these are led so you don't have that problem to deal with and sort of got like a little bit of a bedroom setup vibe going on here now these are the brand new floor lamps so in the studios back at home we've obviously got the old versions of these which i quite like they have about four of them scattered around they all sync up to the apps you can change the colors and you can also turn them on and off like a normal light with the foot switch but these now have a built-in speaker and it's a bluetooth speaker so obviously you can use this for playing music in your bedroom you know, sort of getting ready for a night out or something like that or if it, you're like a kid's bedroom like more of a parent you can have it playing some bedtime music like we've got right now in here which is quite clever too and as well of course to match these new floor lamps there's also some little ambient sort of table lamps to go with this they've really expanded out the range to cover all aspects of sort of your bedroom and your living room here. This has got some really cool little effects. It's sort of almost like a, a lava lamp, isn't it? Almost like an LED lava lamp, if that makes sense. Now this is where it gets hardcore gamer mode. We've got like a dark room vibe here. Now we've seen these before in the past, these sort of panel like stick lights that they do, but they've got some new things when it comes to pro gaming. So if you've got a next gen console like a PS5, you, know, you want obviously HDMI 2.1 pass through box, for your RGB light so you can still play at 4K 120 and it doesn't disrupt the actual gaming experience but still adds vibe to it. So we've now got a new AI Syncbox 2 which has got HDMI 2.1 so it's perfect for the PS5, Xbox Series X and 4K 120 gaming. This allows you to obviously pass your console through so that will react with the strip lights so you don't need one of those DAF sensors that looks a little bit ugly like in the other setup. You can plug other various things into this as well and then sync all that up to the new lights just to sort of synergize the entire setup. Also brand new for CES 2024 are these little gaming lights here. I think these got like a bit of a cyberpunk vibe to them. Um, so you can sort of do different shapes with those. Those also link up with the new HDMI 2.1 uh, pass-through box. But something that isn't new, it's actually you know, last generation, but I've never seen them in person, which I think they look amazing in the gaming setup. Are these little hex, hexagon sort of things, are sort of that like um, nano leaf sort of vibe. But I think they look a little bit cooler actually, because the nano leaf ones sometimes have not the softest diffusion of light, they look a little bit patchy. Whereas these have got little like, effects and like lines in between them so I think they could work quite well within a setup too. 
but something that's a bit of a game changer really, especially if you use Razer products or any Corsair stuff. I use Corsair fans in my setup personally. You now got the Govi compatibility with uh, obviously Razer Chroma RGB and also the Corsair, is it the IQ software, something like that. So basically you can now sync all of your RGB lights inside of your PC or your Corsair mice and keyboards with these Govi lights, which is pretty cool, and of course the Razer uh, Chroma stuff with obviously uh, the RGB keyboards, headsets, etc. Basically, Razer's got RGB everything, so that can all now sync up with your entire room uh, via those integrations, which is quite impressive. The new stuff we're showing for CS, so we already have our AI sync box. Um, we're updating to HDMI 2.1. Oh, which like means it's 8K, but also 4K 120. Yeah, yeah. Better for it's, gamers. It's, but the really cool thing about it is, again, not only does it reflect you know, the, the colors of what you're playing and watching, mm -hmm. but for specific games, we're up to 13 games now. Apex, Fortnite, Warzone, all those. It can actually tell in-game events. So when the game's over, it does a special lighting effect. When you're reviving someone, it does a lighting effect. You can customize all that. And with our DreamView syncing, you can literally tell any of these lights do what this is doing and they'll all react at the same time. Overall, I was pretty impressed with all of the new products that I've seen at the Govi booth at CES 2024. There's so many cool lights that I want to add to my own gaming setup back home. And on the topic of building crazy gaming setups, you should check out this video next and subscribe to the channel for more coverage at CES.